Okay. Uh, this tutorial is all about uh, putting a drop shadow into a frosted text or frosted object. Uh, to to illustrate that more, uh, if you take a look at this uh, graphic here with the with the text beauty, okay, we're going to do that kind of effect. So this beauty, the word beauty here is text. And what we did, we put a lens on it. Uh, we put transparency and we put drop shadow. Okay. Let's start with a new, with a new uh, image here. Okay. Say, for example, I have this uh, image here. And I'm going to type in some text. I'll type in landscape. Okay, and what I'll do, I'll make it big and uh, I'll make it bold, or I'll probably I'll just put lens uh, big bold letters there. Okay, and then say I want to decrease the uh, character spacing, so I just click, I went to my shape tool. Actually, let's do that again. Uh, okay, just undo that do so what I did is I went to the shape tool okay and I click on this one okay that's how to control the line spacing and then I click that and I'm going to enlarge this and I'll change it to white there you go okay put it down a bit okay now here's what you do so so make it white and then you go to your effects and then you click on lens so when you click on lens you're going to have uh, a dialog box here in the right side and choose transparency okay and then if you click on transparency here you get a small window here uh, it's like a view of what you're having and then say you can also change the transparency rate say I'm going to make it 45 or 50 you know or you can type in some numbers here but I'll just make it uh, I'll make it 40 uh, yeah say 45 or I'll just make it 40 okay now this one's important you have to click on frozen Okay, so when you click on frozen, uh, the lens would stay in that particular uh, position. So just click on frozen. Okay. Okay, so frozen. And click on apply. If you don't see the apply button here, but it's already frozen in your actual artwork, that's fine. Okay, now we've done that one, so we can close this dialog box here. And uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to convert this into a, a JPEG or a bitmap. So you click on bitmap, convert to bitmap, and make sure, okay, say you, you wanted 300 dpi, 300 dpi is fine. Make sure this transparent background is checked. If you don't make that transparent by with transparent background you're going to have a box of white you know white box which is the the uh, the background and then you click OK okay so when you click on OK now you're ready to put drop shadow so you can you can go to your interactive drop shadow okay if you have a preset on your interactive drop shadow uh, now you can use that or you can just use the the normal preset okay I already have a preset here actually it's this one my shadow so I click on that and and then and there you have it it's kind of neat because you get a transparent white transparent on the text then you have background a uh, drop shadow now in here there are some few samples here that I made actually so we go to this one see rocks 
Okay, that's a good effect too. Now we go here, which actually you've seen this already. And I think I made another one here. So zoom out there. F4. Okay. Oh, let's view this one here. There. If you zoom in, it looks really cool. Now you're not. Uh, let's look at this uh, this artwork here for beauty. You're not stuck with the uh, black drop shadow like as you see here. I already converted this to a bitmap, and then put drop shadow. So what you can do, you click on. Say you want to make a different uh, drop shadow color. You can do that. So you click on the object. Okay. You go to your drop interactive drop shadow. Okay. We're going to change the settings of this see right now it's black right this not if uh, this indicates that it's black so I go to my property for drop shadow here on top and then you notice here that you have an option to change the drop shadow but before doing that I want to ask you to put it on normal first okay that is important you put it on normal okay so that the drop shadow won't be that transparent then you can change it to say this one so you notice a drop shadow changed and if I drag this one over to the right side the drop shadow will be more prominent there good the drop shadow became black oh, sorry became a different color which is uh, kind of red in here Okay, so that's my tutorial.